NASA's furthest traveling rocket, Voyager 1, continues its incredible journey through space, flawlessly transmitting vital information from the universe's deepest regions for nearly 50 years. This remarkable space experiment has revolutionized our understanding of space. But recently, the space apparatus has been sending unsettling signals back to Earth, leaving the entire space industry in disbelief. Are these disturbing signals the result of a technical malfunction or extraterrestrial activity? Join us as we delve into the truth behind these extraordinary transmissions. Since history began, scientists have been fascinated by the mysteries beyond our planet. This curiosity led to the historic launch of the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 shuttles, among other groundbreaking space missions. These momentous missions, which had been discussed for quite some time, began with the launch of Explorer 2 from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. Fourteen days later, on September 5th of that same year, Explorer 1 followed suit. These twin spacecraft, each weighing a significant 720 kilograms, comparable to a small vehicle, were propelled into space during a unique alignment of the outer planets. Throughout their staggering odyssey, these courageous voyages navigated different directions and speeds, leading to a crucial moment on December 15, 1977, when Explorer 1 outpaced its identical twin due to variations in their paths. Since then, Explorer 1 has become a vital asset, providing a wealth of information and unraveling space-related secrets. Before we delve into Explorer 1's startling new discovery that stunned the entire space industry, let's explore the exceptional images captured by the rocket during its pivotal Jovian imaging mission in 1978. Positioned roughly 265 million kilometers from Earth, Explorer 1 communicated a stunning number of photos back to Earth. In January 1979, it embarked on an exceptional 100-hour endeavor, capturing a mesmerizing time-lapse film showcasing 10 rotations of Jupiter. A cornucopia of 3,750 pictures allowed us to observe Jupiter's magnificent dance in vivid detail. In the ensuing months, Explorer 1 wandered through the Jovian moon system, making a striking revelation. The presence of a small ring surrounding Jupiter and two new moons, which further expanded our understanding of Jupiter's fascinating domain. To ensure safe passage and prevent potential impact with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, corrective maneuvers were carried out. After the Saturn mission concluded, researchers decided to end the Explorer planetary mission, but they also pushed both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 beyond the boundaries of our planetary group, sending them hurtling through space at an astounding rate of 325 million kilometers per year. In January 1990, another chapter began with the Explorer Interstellar mission. Explorer 1 continued its celestial journey around Saturn, revealing four additional moons, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea. During this time, Explorer 1 captured some of the most iconic images in history, immortalizing the Sun and most of the planets. One individual crucial to this mission was the ardent advocacy of renowned astronomer Dryves, a member of the Explorer mission's imaging team. His drive for capturing a final set of images as a farewell gift to humanity paid off on February 14, 1990, when Explorer 1, situated 6 billion kilometers from the Sun, embarked on a visual excursion known as the Planetary Group Family Picture. These breathtaking images, totaling 60, added to the shuttle's incredible collection of 670 photos during its encounter with Neptune. As Voyager 2 passed within 280 million miles of Neptune's blue methane atmosphere, it made an incredible achievement by recording wind speeds exceeding 13,100 meters per second, the fastest winds ever recorded within our local planetary group. This provided amazing insights into this far-off celestial body, particularly Neptune's largest moon. The surface temperature of Triton plunges to a frigid minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the coldest places in our solar system. Our attention was also captured by Triton's unusual characteristics, which included ice volcanoes that spewed nitrogen gas and propelled frozen particles five kilometers into its hazy atmosphere. These remarkable findings deepened our understanding of the extraordinary diversity and intricacy of celestial objects that inhabit the outermost regions of our local planetary group. However, these discoveries are not new. Let us first review the accomplishments of the Explorer 1 rocket, which recently made one of its most terrifying discoveries. 
the Explorer twin spacecraft have produced nothing less than remarkable results. Scientists were shocked and dismayed when they made their first observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons more than 40 years ago. These moons, previously thought to be heavily scarred and dormant like our own moon, were actually teeming with geological activity. During its journey, Explorer 2, in particular, achieved several remarkable firsts. Three years after becoming the first shuttle to fly past Uranus, it accomplished another amazing feat, a flyby of Neptune. To this day, it remains the only spacecraft to have ventured on such a path. As the Explorer rockets continued their journey, NASA implemented various measures to extend their operational lifespan. To save energy, heaters and unnecessary parts were turned off in recent years, allowing the daring explorers to continue their mission well into the upcoming decade. The mission is expected to conclude in 2030. For the scientists and engineers involved in this amazing project from the start, the culmination of the Explorer missions is a moment of pride and a hint of melancholy. Their unwavering dedication and passionate efforts have exceeded their initial expectations. Numerous scientists have made significant discoveries thanks to the abundance of data returned by the explorers, and it has also sparked the interest of countless researchers and space enthusiasts. Not your typical space probes, Explorers 1 and 2 were engineered to be stable platforms that rotated at a rate more than 15 times slower than a clock hour hand. This design choice reduced visual blurring while the spacecraft traveled across infinite space, gathering data and photographs long before they encountered the outer planets. Imaging capabilities began to astound both the general public and scientists before arriving at the gas giants. The spacecraft started sending pictures of Jupiter, showcasing its whirling clouds and famous features. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the Great Red Spot captivated spectators, but the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io commanded the most attention. The spacecraft's instruments detected unusual signals from Io, which were confirmed by the unique images they captured. Towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by eruptions revealed one of Io's most prominent volcanoes, erupting with a force 10 times greater than Mount St. Helens and covering an area nearly the size of France. The spacecraft's cameras were eventually turned off to conserve power and memory before their journey into interstellar space. It is noteworthy that the images they captured did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons. Aside from the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 probes positioned between stars, other notable NASA spacecraft include Voyager 10, Voyager 11, and New Horizons. On February 17, 1998, Voyager 10 passed Voyager 11, making it the spacecraft currently farthest from Earth. Even though there were no other space probes in sight to witness it, Voyager 1 continued its solo journey for a further 14 years until it ultimately entered the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012. The successful completion of the Explorer missions was made possible by various procedures, one of which stood out as particularly brilliant, gravity assist maneuvers. These maneuvers were crucial in getting Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 to their far-off destinations and collecting important data. The spacecraft required more than just their own propulsion systems to reach their targets. They needed a boost and gravity assist provided just that. Imagine the two fearless rockets. NASA did not publicly announce this amazing achievement until 2013 when Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 set out on their grand tour through the local planetary group. They didn't just rely on their engines to move. Instead, they danced in a celestial group with some of our local planets. These heavyweight planets formed groups and performed an amazing dance using their strong gravitational pull to propel themselves forward. This allowed them to save fuel and achieve the speed needed to visit different locations. By examining the principles of gravitational slingshot or gravity assist, we find that the purpose of this maneuver is to provide the spacecraft with a small amount of a planet's energy as it passes by. With extreme precision, Explorer 1 approached Jupiter, a large gas giant with significant gravitational attraction. Passing Jupiter at the ideal angle and velocity, the spacecraft experienced a significant acceleration and increase in velocity due to Jupiter's gravitational pull. A gravity assist maneuver demands a high level of precision. Explorer 1 would have deviated disastrously from its intended course if it had approached Jupiter at the incorrect angle or speed. The accuracy required for these missions is daunting, but the brilliant minds behind them successfully executed these gravity assists multiple times, sending the Explorer spacecraft on an incredible journey. 
The Grand Tour was made feasible by the use of celestial maneuvers by the local planetary group, with Explorer 2 utilizing gravity assistance from Jupiter and Saturn to reach Uranus and Neptune. The Explorer missions owe much of their success to these gravity aids. Let us consider the incredible journey of these trailblazing spacecraft and the wealth of knowledge they have provided us. As we await more information from the ongoing investigation into Explorer 1's anomaly maneuvers, both Explorer 1 and 2 continue their missions beyond earthly bounds. The following are among their accomplishments. Jupiter and its moons, Explorer 1's time-lapse showed 10 revolutions of the gas giant in vivid detail, including new moons and rings. The spacecraft's discovery of two new moons and a tiny ring around Jupiter has greatly increased our knowledge of Jupiter's intricate system. Saturn and its moons. Explorer 1 discovered four more moons of Saturn. Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea. Maneuvers ensured safe transit near Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Triton and Neptune. Explorer 2 recorded the fastest wind speeds ever measured on Neptune, exceeding 13,100 meters per second, and revealed Triton as one of the coldest planets in our solar system with surface temperatures as low as minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. The spacecraft also observed ice volcanoes spewing nitrogen gas. For the interstellar mission, August 2012 saw Voyager 1 reach interstellar space, becoming the first artificial object to do so. NASA formally acknowledged this achievement in 2013 and released several iconic images, including the classic pale blue dot picture taken almost 6 billion kilometers from the sun, which has become one of the most recognizable images in space travel history. The employment of gravity assist maneuvers or slingshot maneuvers, where a spacecraft gains speed and alters its trajectory by passing close to a massive planet, was crucial to the success of the Explorer missions. This technique allowed the spacecraft to conserve fuel and reach far beyond their original capabilities. The Explorer missions were made possible in large part by the Deep Space Network, DSN, a vast network of radio antennas situated in California. Even though Explorer 1 was built with impressive engineering and a sturdy design, recent anomalies have raised concerns. Spain and Australia enabled constant communication with the spacecraft, facilitating data transmission back to Earth and allowing adjustments to trajectories and instruments. This continued the mission despite being billions of miles away. Scientists are baffled by the peculiar signals and doubt its precise position and the transition to a malfunctioning computer. NASA's inquiry focuses on the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, which manages the spacecraft's orientation and communication. It's possible that issues with this system led to data being sent via a malfunctioning inactive computer. Cosmic radiation and severe temperature fluctuations may have impacted the spacecraft's electronics, causing data corruption or memory errors, although less likely Interference by intelligent extraterrestrial beings is still a topic of debate. As we continue to investigate the anomalies of Explorer 1 and its twin, Explorer 2, these missions have not only deepened our understanding of the outer planets, but also demonstrated the resiliency and inventiveness required to explore the vastness of space. The culmination of decades of scientific research and technical advancement is the mission's expected finish date in 2030. As we travel further into space, Carrying with us the lessons learned and the pioneering spirit embodied by Explorers 1 and 2, the data and insights gathered by these spacecraft will continue to inform and inspire future missions, ensuring that the spirit of exploration and the quest for knowledge that propelled the Explorer missions remain alive and vibrant. The Voyager missions have profoundly impacted our understanding of the solar system and beyond. One of the most significant aspects of these missions was the detailed analysis of the outer planet's atmospheres and magnetic fields. Voyager 1's data revealed intricate details about Jupiter's magnetic field, showing it to be far more complex than previously imagined. The spacecraft's instruments detected intense radiation belts surrounding Jupiter, which were found to be far stronger than those around Earth. This discovery has crucial implications for understanding the dynamics of planetary magnetospheres. Voyager 2, on the other hand, provided unprecedented insights into Uranus and Neptune. The spacecraft's flyby of Uranus in 1986 offered the first close-up images of this distant planet, revealing its tilted rotational axis and a surprising lack of visible cloud bands. Voyager 2 also discovered 10 new moons orbiting Uranus, expanding our knowledge of its satellite system. 
During its flyby of Neptune in 1989, Voyager 2 unveiled the planet's great dark spot, a massive storm system, along with the discovery of a faint ring system. The spacecraft also made noteworthy observations of the heliosphere, the vast bubble of charged particles emitted by the sun that envelopes the solar system. Voyager 1's journey into interstellar space provided the first direct measurements of the interstellar medium, the matter that exists between stars. This data has been essential in studying the boundary where the solar wind slows and merges with the interstellar plasma. Another major achievement of the Voyager missions was the capture of the iconic pale blue image, which offered a humbling perspective of Earth as a tiny speck in the vastness of space. This photograph, taken from nearly 6 billion kilometers away, has become a symbol of the fragility and unity of our planet. It has also fueled philosophical and scientific discussions about humanity's place in the universe. The Voyager spacecraft also contributed significantly to the study of cosmic rays. By analyzing the cosmic ray intensity and the distribution of particles in space, scientists have gained insights into the structure and dynamics of our galaxy. This research has implications for understanding the origins of cosmic rays and their effects on space travel and technology. The missions have had a profound influence on public interest in space exploration. The detailed images and scientific data sent back by Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have inspired countless people around the world and have contributed to a greater appreciation for the scale and beauty of the universe. The missions also set the stage for future space exploration, highlighting the value of long-term, ambitious projects that push the boundaries of human knowledge. As the spacecraft continue their journey through interstellar space, they carry with them a message of human curiosity and exploration. The Voyager Golden Records, containing sounds and images intended to represent the diversity of life and culture on Earth, serve as a time capsule for any potential extraterrestrial beings who might encounter them. These records are a testament to the spirit of discovery that drives space exploration and the desire to connect with other forms of life in the universe. In summary, the Voyager missions have provided a wealth of knowledge about our solar system and beyond. They have expanded our understanding of planetary systems, cosmic phenomena, and the interstellar medium. Their legacy continues to inspire and inform future exploration, reflecting humanity's enduring quest to explore the unknown and seek out new frontiers.